Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Now, what is sin? The Bible said we suffering as a people because of sin. What is it? It's a three letter word, but what, what is sin? What does it mean? When we disobey God's commandments and don't keep his law. So you know a little something. Give me 1 John 3 and 4. We should not be buying today. Give me Nehemiah 10 and 31. That go right into what we talking about. Remember what the Bible, what God said we suffering for. We're suffering because of sin. So it's sin to buy or sell on the Lord's Sabbath day. When you read, it's okay, that's why we're here, Derek, that's why we're here. Whatever you don't know, we're going to teach you. When God first established this day right here, Saturday, this day was made holy and hollow. It's special. It's separate. On this day, we're supposed to shut down everything. Everything. Ain't no buying, ain't no selling, ain't no cooking, ain't no working. Guess what? If you got a farm, you know how some of us, we fortunate to have a farm. Your animals ain't pulling nothing for you. Ain't nobody doing nothing. The whole house shut down. If you got workers, if you got a business, your business shut down. Why? Because that's a commandment. Read. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10 and verse 31. And if the people of the land bring where of any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. Stop right there. It said, if the people of the land. You know what the people of the land is? The people outside, the people on this sign. So, let's take a look. In our community, we got sharks. Majority of that is who? Arabs. Arabs be earned owning that. You got the beauty supply, that's the Chinese. Koreans. You got all East Indians, 7-Eleven. God said when the people of the land, the other races, come to you and try to sell you merchandise, Read that we would not buy it on the Sabbath. What did it say? We would not buy it on the Sabbath. We are not to buy or sell anything on the Lord's Sabbath day. Not because I say so, because the Bible says so. What you gonna find out it boils down to if you love God or not. And don't forget, read that scripture again. Finish this up first. And if any of the people of the land bring any victuals on the Sabbath. Vittles, vittles is merchandise. Hey, I got 50% off right here, George hats. We not supposed to partake in that. We supposed to shut down on this day. Read. On the Sabbath day to sell uh -huh. that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. Uh -huh. Or on the holy day. Or on the holy days. We got holidays in the Bible that we supposed to celebrate. On certain holy days, we cannot buy and sell. That's what we supposed to live our life by, not this world. Read. And that we would leave the seventh year in the exhortation of every day. So that verse that we just read right there, that verse proves and tells us what? That on the Sabbath day, which is Saturday, we cannot buy and sell. But don't forget, while we in this predicament, read that again. Go back to that verse. Second Maccabees, go back. Go back. Why are we suffering? We suffering because of sin. Got it? Get first John. We suffering because of sin. Now, what is your question, brother? Oh, I'm just sitting here. You just sitting here listening? Real quick. This sign right here has the people of God on it. Do you see yourself on there? Where at? Black American. Black American. So that means you from the tribe of Judah. What's your name, sir? Billy. Billy. What's your name, sir? Rick. Rick, Billy. And what's your name, sir? I'm the word man from Israel. 
Dad, you and um, okay. Tucci's brother, boy. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So, I'm going to come to you in a minute. You see yourself on here, right? Yeah, I do. Being that you are God's people, it come with requirements. Now, I don't know if you heard the verse. We're going to read it again. Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever commit of sin, transgresseth also the law. So we read a verse in, in the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 7, verse 32. It said we suffer because of our sin. So we go ahead and see what sin is. Read it again. Verse Whosoever commit a sin. So the Bible says, whosoever commits sin, does sin, read, also the law. What? Transgressive also the law. What did it say? Transgressive also the law. Rick, what does transgress mean? Uh, move from one point to another. When you say move from one point to another, how is you doing that though? You're not transgressing. Going through my, uh, nope. Billy. Transgress. I give you an example. You come in my house and you don't take your shoes off. And my rule in my house, just follow me. My rule in my house is shoes got to come off. You come in with shoes anyway. And I say, man, why you just transgress my law? Not respecting you. What did you just do to my, my law that I made in my house? What you just... What's a plain word? Because you're saying disrespect. You just did what? Disobey. Read it again. Who, whosoever commit a sin, transgress of also the law. Transgress means break, go against, disobey. When you sin, you break, you go against God's rules that he set up. That's sin. We don't know what sin is. You've been here sin all your life. Oh, don't sin, don't sin, don't sin. What is it? Sin is when you go against what God told you to do. Y'all understand that? So let's get some rules that God set for these people. Because remember, you see yourself on here. You God's chosen people. So these are rules that God's chosen people was given. Leviticus 19, 28. Leviticus 19, 28. So when y'all hit these rules, don't take it like, damn, bro, you coming at me. No, we here to inform you. I didn't know this information. I heard brothers teaching the information, and I was like, man, hold on. If I love God, I got to change myself. It ain't going to be overnight, but that's how I show God I love him. Read. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Read it again from the top. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Stop. It said, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. What is that? You say hurting yourself. No, you ain't supposed to do that neither. Remember, it said make any cuttings in your flesh. Let's keep reading. It's probably going to click after this. Read. For the dead. Read it again from the top. You should not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. What's that? He said, don't make cuttings in your flesh, in your skin for the dead. What's that? No, I don't understand. What brothers do when they best friend die? Right, Y'all hear me? Y'all follow what I'm saying? R.I.P. tattoos. Some people just get a tattoo just cause. That's their thing. Something going on in their life, they get a tattoo. God said we're not supposed to get tattoos. That's what that just said. Read it one more time. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. That's a rule of God. So is we supposed to get tattoos? No. These are things that they're not teaching us. Remember what it said. Did you hear the verse that we read before? It said we suffer because of sin. Sin is when you go against what God says. So if we keep getting tattoos, what we doing? Sinning. We sinning. You see that? It's very easy and simple to understand. But they don't teach us this in church. In church, like the brother that was up here before me, they give you sing, dance, and motivational speech. They not telling you what you need to do in order to survive. They not telling you what you need to do to get everlasting life. You want to live forever, right? 
Do you? You want to live forever? You want to go to heaven? You want to go to heaven. You want your kids to be in heaven. The only way that you can get to heaven is if you do what God says. Is that hard? That's not hard. I'm going to show you another one. Leviticus 21 and 5. I'm going to show you another one. These is rules for the man right now. We cannot get tattoos. Some of us got tattoos, but guess what? When we heard that, we stopped. You know how we stopped that? Because we don't know necessarily what happened. But how do we stop the killing in our community? Stop hearing sirens, seeing yellow tape, red tape. We got to start doing what God says. Us as a people, Billy, we don't follow no rules. We have no structure. We live carefully and, and reckless. That's why our community is like that. Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Read it again. They shall not make baldness upon their head. What is that saying? My baldness, I think of a skin here. That's something to think about my skin. You can't shave your head bald. That's something that brothers like to do. They say like, oh, my hair falling out. I'm finna shave my head bald. No. God said not to do that. A lot of these things that we do in this place, we learned it from the other races of people. You understand that? Getting tattoos, we learned that from the other races of people. We weren't getting tattoos when we first came over here. That's learned behavior that we gotta stop. So, don't shave your hair bald. Don't shave your face bald. Just turn around, look. That is a result of what? Us not following what God said. That's why we always hear sirens. Read. Neither shall not shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. You hear that? There go again. Neither make any cuttings in your flesh. No tattoos, no shaving your face. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.